Hi everybody, today I am going to paint a picture from this uh, color book and it's Looking Possum, Chins and Chicks and it's a Horizon color book and I got this at Michael's like two months ago. So this is the picture I picked and it's a hippo, a, hipsto, a hipster hippo and I'm going to use a Sargent watercolor pencils and I like these pages because they're super thick so you can watercolor on them. It's not watercolor paper, but you can watercolor on it. And I have two colors for the hippo. I'm going to use black and gray. And this is a Mimic uh, number six round water brush. And so what I'm going to do, oh, that's my water. I had to show you my water. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the hippo in the black watercolor pencil, the Sargent watercolor pencil. And I'm going to outline all the lines of the hippo. Of course, I'm going to fast forward it because th th this painting took me over an hour to finish. So lots of fast forwards in here. But I'm going to hit every little single wrinkle in that hippo. And he has a lot. <laughs> so once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the gray uh, Sargent watercolor pencil. And I'm going to color the whole hippo. And again, I'm going to fast forward it because uh, this, this does take a while. This is a nice big picture. And I really like this paper. It's not watercolor paper like I said, but it's a, you can watercolor on it. And I have it taped to a board, otherwise it curls up. So I'm just uh, coloring uh, the hippo with all that gray. And now here comes the fun part. I'm going to take my watercolor brush and I dipped it in the water and then I'm drying it off just a little bit. And now I'm going to go over all of the um, watercolor pencil that I put on the hippo. And then it's like magic. You have watercolor paint. <laughs> and I'm going to do this to the whole hippo. And it's like your shading is automatically there. You don't even have to really worry about it um, because you've used two different colors. And now I'm going to um, go for direct from the pencil. That's the black and I've wet my brush and I'm rubbing it on the tip of the pencil. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, define some of the smaller areas that I couldn't get to like his ear. And then I'll do uh, some more of his wrinkles uh, where I want them more shaded which would be like under his glasses and around his mouth and on his chin and I'm just uh, any spot that I wanted a little bit more darker I'm going uh, directly from the pencil with my brush and now I forgot to push record when I did his scarf but it's just the same concept as a hippo I took the darker yellow and I outlined all of the scarf and all of the folds of the scarf and then I took my lighter uh, yellow pencil and I colored it all in and then I took my mimic brush and then I um, you know painted over it yeah sometimes I forget to hit record and there I'm doing the direct to pencil again and I'm gonna hit um, some of the folds so they're a little bit more darker so it looks more like a scarf and now this is his hat and I'm going to use two different oranges, the dark, which I'm outlining here, and then a lighter orange, and I'm going to color the whole hat in. And there we go, fast forward. And now I'm going to take the watercolor brush and I'm going to paint the hat. And I don't like my watercolor brush really super crazy wet, that's why I dab it off, because the, those mimic brushes hold a lot of water. And there, his hat is almost done. And then again, I'll do the direct to pencil um, uh, trick and I'll redefine some of the areas that I want darker. And then I just rub the wet uh, brush on the pencil and then I just go in and darken some of the lines that I want darker. I don't know why I picked orange, but I sure like that orange color. But that is how I am watercoloring this hippo. And then I'm going to do um, his glasses once I get done with his hat here. And there we go. 
Oh no, I'm doing his ears next. Sorry, his ears. I'm using a pink for inside of his ears and I'll do his nostrils too. And I'm just using a, a pink and then I'm going in with the water brush. And then I have a darker pink for his nose or the edges of his ears, a darker pink for the edges of the inside of the ears. And then for his nose, I used a flesh color. And I'm just doing uh, the direct to pencil technique again because that's such a small area. And I'm just going to go in and hit both of those nostrils. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a darker uh, maroon color for inside the nostrils, just a little bit, just so it doesn't look so bright. And now for his glasses. I'm going to use this purplish blue color and I'm going to color in the glasses. This was kind of a skinny area, so I was a little worried, but I did I did get it done. <laughs> then I go in with the brush and then the direct pencil where I want it darker. And it, that's, you know, I need more control in those areas. And then I just do his glasses in this uh, purple-blue color. When I'm done painting, I like to iron my work. I put it between two pieces of paper and take a hot iron and iron it. That way all the wrinkles come out and it lays nice and flat. And now for his shirt, I'm using a tan and I'm just gonna, where the white is, I'm just gonna go on the edges and then I hit it with the brush. And then I'm going in with his glasses. That's just a regular uh, colored pencil there uh, because I wanted, wanted it to look a little bit more smooth. And there we go, the hippo is finished. I think he turned out super cute and uh, this book is really great to color in. I'll try to link it down below. I'm not quite sure if it can be found anymore, but we'll see.